So we just changed the game with this one, introducing AG number two, the newest groundbreaking artificial intelligence software in the game. We got things like AI text generator, AI image generator, AI code generator, AI chat box, AI text to speech, and voiceover capabilities. Yes, it does coding. Yes, it does images. It literally does everything. Make sure you click the link at the top line of the description box. If you're a content creator, if you're an artist, if you're just a regular person that want to take your life to the next world, we got some serious stuff to talk about today, man, because out in Illinois, a 36-year-old black woman was killed by a police officer. Um, now, the police department, um, Springfield, Illinois police department did release the body cam footage. The entire footage is about 36 minutes. In the footage, it you know it shows well. Some of the details first are, she called them complaining of somebody maybe an intruder or something. Cops come in, everything is going good. She walks over to the stove. Apparently, there's just some boiling water on the stove. The cops, for whatever reason, get threatened. At that point, tells her to kind of back up. She says, "I rebuke you in the name of Jesus." Um, she said, "The cop says you better not. I'll shoot you in the effing face." She just says, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Then you see the cops open fire, actually shooting her in the face. Um, then you see another angle, I think one of the other cops' video, where you, it may have appeared that she was going to throw the hot water on the police officer, even though they were, you know, a distance away, maybe eight to ten feet away. Um, when I seen it, I was disgusted by it. I really felt like the dude was just looking for a body that night, honestly. But, but what are your thoughts, though, man, of the footage that we all got to see for ourselves? Yeah, man, uh, social media has given us the opportunity, unfortunately, to see a lot of this shit in real time almost. And yeah. see it raw, real, and uncut. And out of all the police murders I've seen right. toward unarmed black people the last, let's say, 10 years or so, this was the worst one. This Whew. was the worst yeah. one. Uh, George Floyd was bad. We were all in a pandemic. We've seen how long he was on his neck. We've seen how well, he was screaming for his mom. This was worse. And you got a woman who is not a threat. She's in her house clothes, bro. She's in her house clothes. She calls the police for safety, for comfort, to feel secure in her own home. And this is a clear case of humans not understanding humans. See, this is the problem. We don't have our own people in our neighborhoods policing our own people because I guarantee you if that was a black man in that police uniform and she rebuked him in the name of Jesus, his gun wouldn't even been drawn because he understands that language, he understands that culture. When I heard this woman speaking, the tone of her voice got me, the texture of her voice got me because that's my mom, that's your mom, that's our aunts, that's our grandmothers. Mm -hmm. They talk like that, they, the tone of their voice. This woman did not deserve to get a bullet put in her head, but this is a clear case of a man that walked into that house looking at that black woman as if she wasn't even human and squeezed the trigger without uh, a hesitation talked about her as she lied dead on the floor with a bullet in her mother effing head like she wasn't even a person this dude deserves not only to be ripped apart behind these microphones but he deserves to be ripped apart physically mm -hmm. ripped the f apart because this was absolutely nauseating this was disgusting mm -hmm. i have no words for it and i don't know and i don't see anybody justifying i'm sure it's some ignorant people out here justifying whatever the fuck we saw i don't care even if she was attempting to throw boiling water at her. And in my opinion, from my viewpoint, I didn't see that. She was going toward boiling water, rebuking him in the name of Jesus. But nothing gave me the inclination that she was about to hit dude with anything. And she was shot in the skull. One shot, gone. Mm. <sighs> I, I really don't know how to, how to interpret it and how to say it other than, man, I hope dude gets ripped the fuck apart. Yeah, no, I think you, you hit it right on the head when you talked about, you know, the cultures. And when I look at, I often look at police videos, probably more than most people, and I see the interaction between white officers and white women and white men, I see that they look at that like that's their mom. Like it could be an older white woman, a dude could be 20, she could be like 40, 45. They engage it as such. Like they're way, you know, the aggression's off. You know, they kind of, it's like a different type of conversation than it is with a black person. So that, that's when you say, like, black, I say if me and you was police officers and we went in there, we might have started laughing at that situation. Or, or we, we would have found a way to de-escalate the situation. Yeah. You know, he was like, oh, I'm not going to take no fucking hot water in the face. Like, come on, bro. Like, you wanted some shit to pop off that night. And I think a lot of these guys, man, they're getting a lot of these guys that are on a hair trigger, straight out of the military, 
and ready to kill some shit and ready to pop off and do something. You see the guys all in the, you know, probably taking creatine, steroids. The dude was all jacked up. He's ready to hurt some shit, break some shit, kill some shit. And that's not the way you should be as a police officer. You should be wedded, willing to de-escalate the situation at all times. Like, why, what sense does it make for her to throw some water in your face, bro? When she called y'all. When she called y'all. She wasn't a threat. But again, the, the, the cultures, the race thing is at issue here. It's the dehumanization, the animalistic nature. These people feel like, you a damn animal. I'll kill you, man. And it shouldn't be that way. That should be that last resort. What about the taser? What about even retreating? And say, oh, no, ch don't miss, no. And backing up and going out the door and calling for backup and saying, no, you know, anything. But you pull out your gun and you see, I don't know if you watch this part of the footage, maybe the um, the sergeant came in and he's looking around. He's like, where's the gun? He's like, oh, it wasn't a gun. She had a boiling water. So he's thinking like, he his first inclination is like, yo, Dude she must have had a gun. Had to, yeah. He had boiling water. This guy is in prison now. He's being charged with murder. Somehow, I think he's going to beat this case, man. Somehow, I feel like he's, it's a chance for him to beat this case because you know how these things go. It sucks that I have to agree with you on that because <laughs> I, I, I don't want to. But I was right. thinking right before you said that, if the body camera wasn't on him, would we even know about this shit? That's would a good we point. even know about did, did this? You, did you see the dad, what he said? Yeah, I could. I, it was hard for me to watch Pops. I'm, I'm actually sitting right here, right? It's I, hard, bro. I got... Well, you got to listen to what he said. Yeah. He pretty much said that he didn't even know there was a police involved shooting. Like, they didn't even tell him that shit. Listen to it. I'm telling you. Come on, let's let's listen play to it. it real quick. Let's yeah. Let's it right now. <laughs> told conflicting stories. What were you told uh, the circumstances of this shooting? Well, I was never told that it was a uh, deputy involved shooting. We were under the impression that she was killed by the intruder or some other uh, person from the street or something, and they just went in there and found her dead body. Um, I did not find out that the deputies killed her until my brother asked for Sonia's address, and I gave it to him, and he said, brother, this says deputies involved and i'm like what are you talking about uh, but we were all misled to believe that um and then there was a story that this was self-inflicted a self-inflicted gunshot hearing that you were told <laughs> so I think the, oh, man the cover-up started from just right after it happened and thank god for the body camera footage it's probably oh, yeah. the most horrible wrenching thing that we've ever seen in our lives but if it were not for the body cam footage we would not have known that this occurred yes i say thank goodness too for that body cam footage because we, we in the video it clearly shows she was not approaching him with steaming hot water number one which is what he said at the beginning when it was asked about the gun it, it, clearly there was no gun oh my all right that was that was gail king on the interview with um sonia's father yeah and that, that, oh man, now you. you it was they was trying oh to cover man. up the situation. They was trying to cover it up. Damn man, which is crazy because you got body cameras. Yeah, and they were still trying to protect their own. Yeah, they still were trying to protect their own, even though that man murdered a woman, an American citizen, that was not a threat to their lives or their well being in cold mother effing blood. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> if man, I don't even want to talk about if. Um. Man, oh man, I, I I really I don't I don't have the words, man. It, it sucks to even hear her father speak because you know he's filled with so much rage and so much anger, but at the same time he's confused, and you could just see just the emptiness in his eyes because he woke up and don't have a daughter anymore for nothing. Do you see for nothing when when George Floyd, um, we all witnessed this. Um, was it during the pandemic? Yeah. Things were crazy. Yeah. Do you see? If the verdict comes in that this dude is, is, you know, he walks, could you see that happening again in this situation? Or do you think George Floyd was just a specific situation? Like everything? Yeah, I could see it happening again. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah. But then what? And, and that's my question because obviously we got a lot of people's attention when there was riots in the streets and we seen riots in these streets. We ain't never seen riots in these streets for something that happened in Minnesota before. 
but people were that outraged. So we know people are on a hair trigger and it could happen again. We've seen reality right in our face. It could happen again. But my question is, then what? My question is, where is there going to be legislation in place where human beings are protected? Yeah, Why, is, we've point. got the political season in place. What's, what are we going to put in place to where, look, we know cops have a hard job and not every cop's a bad cop. I know that a thousand percent. We see that. We know that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. what are we going to do about these bad ones? We're going, what are we going to do about these ones that get calls to people's houses to serve and protect, but they look at somebody as if they're an enemy the second they walk in the door and can already shoot somebody without even really understanding the circumstance of the situation? That man walked into that house wanting to kill somebody. He didn't see an intruder to kill, so he killed the next best thing, which is this black woman sitting here innocently not doing anything. Man, if he don't get, if he don't get put for murder, bro, I, I don't know, man. But see, a lot of times what they do is, it's not enough for him just to be charged, man. He got to be convicted. Yeah, bro. And then they, they, it's not going to quell the people down because, you know, this guy, and we forget about it, and two years later, the verdict comes out. And no, people in, need yeah. to, right, people need to raise fucking hell about this shit. See, when the virus was going on, I was front and center. Sure. I had my camera, and I got a chance to look in the SWAT guy's eyes, and a lot of them guys were scared. And maybe not, like, a bitch scared, like, but just like, oh, holy shit. Like, what am I in right now? Like, holy shit, this shit's really happening. <laughs> like, it's really an insurrection. Yeah. Like, that type of scare. I'm sure they had guns and rubber bullets and they would do what they have to do. But some of them guys is young. They family was probably out there. I'm Because you got to understand what a cop is. He probably got family members that ain't feeling this shit going on too. Mm -hmm. So you got to go home and live. It might be your wife or anybody, your brother. But, man, I ain't feeling this shit going on. And you got to live with that. So they're human too. But we have to, like you said, the legislature, something has to be in place where these cops need to be held accountable for taking innocent people's lives. They, we can't, the system can't keep protecting them and giving them lawyers and these towns and everything, putting millions of dollars up for defense for them, and that can't keep happening. We need to strip down, you know, the police needs to be done with them, and not he should not have anything where he gets a lawyer. Pay for it for your fucking self. Yep. The county and the taxpayers' money shouldn't pay for that shit. We will not protect you in this situation. We need legislation in place to where there's a mandate. Each county or each city, each town has a certain percentage of people living in that town that are police officers. I know like, all right, in Atlantic City, you have to technically be an Atlantic City resident to be an Atlantic City cop, but we know there's loopholes. You can live in Summers Point, Margate, Lynn, yeah. wherever the case, and become an Atlantic City cop. But I guarantee you, if that was a black man in there, and I don't even care if he votes for Trump or whatever, I don't care what his stance is politically or what he thinks as far as black folk, if he walked in there and heard that woman say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, he's heard his mother say that. He's heard his grandmother say that. He's heard his aunt say that at one time or another. And he would have understood that language to where he knew he wasn't a threat. This woman was trying to put an anointing on her house because she felt evil spirits in that motherfucker. Right. And he was you. It's yep. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's deep. It's deep. And again, man, one thing that this country refuses to deal with is racism. Yeah. We don't really deal with that head on. We kind of sweep it under the rug and hope that it goes away. But it doesn't, so. Read his ugly head again, man. Yeah, That's man. Sad. So definitely want to hear what everybody has to say, though, in the comment section. We definitely appreciate everybody listening to what we had to say today. Hit the thumbs up button. Share the video for your boys. It's your brother Sam Ant. For our Hip Hop News on your brother, oh God. Hip Hop News Uncensored. Together, we had a Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Over and out. Rest in peace. Indeed. Peace. <clears throat>